more or less in the line sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> It is past 5.30 and it is time for me to call the regular meeting of Greenwood County Council for Tuesday, July the 16th, 2019 to order. In accordance with the Freedom of Information Act, the date, the time, the location, and the agenda, this meeting has been posted on the front entrance of the Greenwood County Courthouse, also on the front entrance of the Greenwood County Library. A copy of that agenda has been made available to the media and also has been posted on the county's website. I'm going to ask Councilman Robbie Templeton to give our invocation and that will be followed by our Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand with me. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for all the many blessings you bestow upon us. Be with um, all those who are gathered here this evening. Um, ask that you guide us and direct us as we deliberate do the business of the county. May it be pleasing in your sight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, and God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Council, you have been provided a copy of the minutes for the July the 2nd, 2019 regular meeting. Are there any changes to those minutes? If not, do I have a motion to approve? So moved, Chair. Second. Motion by Mr. Lane and a second by Mr. Motes. All in favor? And those minutes stand approved. Council, I would ask for you to join me on the main floor so we can recognize our employees for the second quarter of 2019. say to each of you we recognize completely what you do for the county we understand who the most important people are in this county and have been for many of you who have retired recently down through the years we do not take your work lightly but we do greatly appreciate it and we're here tonight in this small way to say thank you and appreciate what you do our first uh, employee of the second quarter is Josh Skinner from administration No, you don't have to read it. <laughs> Our next employee is Kayla Fryer from the clerk of court. She's not here. Lisa Davis from ITGIS. Julie Davis Lake Management. Thank you. Thank you, Cheryl Warren from Magistrate's Office. Tracy Moore from Planning. Thank you. 
Trudy Sherrod from Probate Court. Robbie Wood from Public Works. Not here. Gary Moore from Sheriff's Department. Our department head of the quarter is Ashley Davis, the auditor. Way to go, Ashley. Good job. Thank you. Thanks. Being transparent, you've got to tell us what she said to you. I can't do that. <laughs> Yeah, they just want to be nosy. <laughs> Our overall employee of the quarter is Kayla Fryer from the clerk of court. And she's she's, she's got training, training for the child support uh, okay. project that's going All right. on. Then we want to recognize some retirees. Quinea Talbert. Come to work on May the 14th, 2012, and retired March the 15th, 2019. Congratulations. Thank you. Enjoy your new life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Trip May. <laughs> May the 2nd, 1988. And May the second, two thousand and nineteen. More relaxed. Not a day early and not a day late. Why not? Deborah Grubbs. Deborah. George Herzog. Chris Barnes. Chris Barnes. Good luck you you've been here. October the twenty second, nineteen seventy eight. June first, two thousand nineteen. <laughs> Enjoy your retirement. Thanks, sir. Very much. Hey, Thank you. Good Thank you. 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 Thank Congratulations and best of luck. Thank you. If you join us at the market, it's wonderful. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nancy Holland. <laughs> October the 21st, 1995 to June the 28th, 2019. Great. She's whispering to all the women. I don't know what's going on. Have a great time. Thank you. I don't know what's going on in there. Something. Something. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And that is everyone. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. And I was told that there is a reception that will be held in the, in the room next door, so you're welcome. Um, you. Thank you.
signed up for public comment, so we will pass on that part of our agenda. We have third reading under we have third reading under old business ordinance number 2019-06 which establishes the soil erosion and sedimentation control in the lake impact area. Uh, Mr. Russian, are you here? I am. Uh, anything for some of the folks that was not in our other meeting, uh, a brief description of this ordinance and what this ordinance will do so that those that maybe didn't hear your earlier presentation. Uh, uh, just real briefly, um, been a long time coming this ordinance. We've talked about it for several years now, long before I was with Greenwood County. Uh, this ordinance establishes a uh, land disturbance permit for the lake impact area uh, on the screen uh, above us there um, shows in pink the area the parcels that will be impacted by this ordinance of the 39,000 parcels in the county it affects about approximately 3,900 parcels so about 10 percent of the overall number of parcels but as far as land area goes much less than five percent of the total land area of the county um, again, it establishes a uh, land disturbance permit. Any uh, land disturbed within that lake impact area greater than 600 square feet uh, would need a permit through the county. Uh, it fills um, some of the uh, voids in DHEX regulation of the area when it comes to uh, soil and erosion control. Uh, again, I feel it's long overdue to help protect uh, sedimentation from reaching our lake. Uh, will be uh, administered mostly through the building inspections department. Uh, they'll do most of the permitting, but they'll be assisted by lake management personnel as well as engineering personnel. And Any there questions? will be a fee to this permit. Yeah, the fee, the, the way the fee structure is set up in the ordinance is that it'll be set during the normal budgeting process. As we have already gone through the normal budgeting process, I'm asking council tonight <coughs> to set a $50 permit fee and a $50 reinspection fee should uh, a reinspection be uh, required, which falls in line with most of the other permits uh, required by the uh, building uh, inspection department. Council, you have heard the uh, explanation from the county engineer. Are there any questions or comments that you would want to ask of him? Comment, Chairman. Yes, sir. Mr. Russian, you, in your brief time, you've been asked to do a lot in Greenwood County. I think that you and your staff did a commendable job in putting this process together, and I want to thank you for it. I appreciate that. A lot of the groundwork for this was laid long before I got here. I can't take all the credit. Uh, predecessors certainly did a lot of this work to get this board and square mix. Thank you. Council, what is your pleasure? Do I have a motion Move and a approve. second? Move to approve, Chairman. Oh, we need you need um, that motion to is it good does that include his yes fees? if we just do it that way yes okay good i second you. I have a motion by mr lane a second by mr templeton <coughs> any further comments or questions are you ready to vote all in favor and the ordinance passes on third reading our next uh, item is to conduct a public hearing so i would ask council to give me a motion and a second that we conduct a public hearing and third reading on ordinance 2019-12 uh, and 2019-13. So moved, Mr. Chair. Motion by Mr. Motes and second by Ms. Childs. All in favor? So our public hearing is on ordinance 2019-13, which amends the zoning ordinance so that two parcels of land owned by Greenwood Holding Corporation and Andrew Evans Taylor Properties located at 2307 and 2317 Bypass 25 Southeast in Greenwood is changed from R5 multifamily residential to C2 general commercial. 
Is there anyone here who would like to speak in favor of this ordinance? Mr. Haney. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Council Members, Bob Haney, 304 Lives Drive. Um, I'm requesting this uh, rezoning on behalf of my clients, Greenwood Holding and the Arnold Taylor family. Um, we don't have any plans to develop. I want to make sure that everybody understands that. It's simply um, to give that corner of um, that interchange uh, compatible zoning with everything else around it and to give my clients a better opportunity to market the property for some potential development. And that's kind of it in a nutshell. Thank you. Does anybody have any questions of Mr. Haney? Thank you. Is there anyone else here who would like to speak in favor of this ordinance? Is there anyone here who would like to speak in opposition to this ordinance? Is there anyone here who would like to speak in opposition to this ordinance? Hearing none, then I will close that portion of our public hearing and I will ask counsel, what is your pleasure on second reading? Move to approve, Chairman. Second. Motion by Mr. Lane, a second by Mr. Templeton. Any further discussion? You ready to vote? All in favor? And that is unanimous. Our next public hearing is Ordinance 2019-12, um, which authorizes the termination and cancellation of that certain fee um, in lieu of Adelorum, Texas, between Greenwood County, Greenville County, and Kimmick Corporation authorizes the termination and cancellation of a certain fee in lieu of ad valorem taxes which goes all the way back to december the 31st 1997 which was between the county and kennett um, is there anyone here who would like to speak in favor of this ordinance is there anyone here who would like to speak in opposition to this ordinance then I will close the public hearing and ask council what is your pleasure and this will be third reading, final reading. So moved, Mr. Chairman. Motion by Mr. Moats. Second. Second by Ms. Spencer. If there are no questions, you ready to vote, all in favor? And that is unanimous. That is all of our public hearings tonight. We have new business which appoints certain people to special tax districts throughout Greenwood County. And for the record, I will read these appointments. Beach Run, Harlan Davis. Bell Mead, Rusty Denning. Bell Mead, Ira Champion. Creekside, Eddie Bartless. Folly Ben, James Fuqua. Loxley Hall, Keith Hughes. McCalla Farms, James P. Gary, McKellar Farms, Floyd Gray Jr., North Fall Acres, Emory Holzenbach, Raintree, Wanda P. Baylor, Springwoods, Peggy H. Martin, Winding Creek, David Burrell, Winding Creek, Newton O'Dell. Those are the recommendations that have been forwarded to you through our county treasurer's office. These recommendations have been made by the tax districts themselves. What is your pleasure? So Second. Motion by Ms. Childs and a second by Mr. Templeton to approve these appointments. Any further discussion? All in favor? And those appointments are approved. We have district reports, Ms. Childs. Uh, district one. First of all, it's just I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the museum staff who provided a movie camp for four children in District 1. And then to say a special congratulations to John Keelan and his family. Uh, John was a disabled veteran, and he's the one that received the house down on the Rock House Road. First one for Greenwood, but 11th of South Carolina. And uh, we went down to celebrate with them. Even though it's in uh, Councilman uh, Allison District, he wasn't able to go, so I went down and kind of stood in. 
and also to let you all know that on August the 15th at 5 p.m., we will have our prayer vision here uh, in this building for our children as they return to school in August. Ms. Spencer. Mr. Motes. Thanks are good in District 4, sir. Mr. Templeton. All well in District 6, Mr. Chairman, North Fork. Mr. Lang. All well in District 7, but a compliment to the county manager. Uh, I have gotten positive feedback in regard to our progress and work being done in the recreation department, literally from 96 to Wareshaw. And uh, we received some, some positive comments, even phone calls over the weekend, Toby. So thank you very much. I think you made excellent hires. Uh, I think the, uh, I am told, I don't know him personally, but I'm told that Mr. Dorn has already streamlined the processes through of registration and everything else that he's taken over where we combined those two jobs. Good job. Thank you very much. Here's my report, Chair. And I have no report. Mr. Manager. Nothing to report, Mr. Chair. Then uh, is, have we covered all of the business? Uh, yeah, I'm going back there. If there's no other business on the regular agenda, we recessed our executive session. We're going to return to that executive session and complete our business as outlined in the motion in our committee. Um, with that being said, we are adjourned to executive session.